Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben. If this is your first time to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. Today is the very first 5.0 Mustang on the channel, and this is a brand new 2019. It's got like 1,100, 1,500 miles on it, like nothing. So we're gonna be getting all of those metallic shavings out, doing a flush, motor oil change filter, and we're gonna go driver. All right, so before we do the engine flush, I want you guys to hear exactly what it sounds like. So this is the oil that came in it from the factory. Just let it idle for a sec, just idle, let's see. in our engine flush and what this does is it thins out the motor oil and uh, loosens sticky valves gets all the oil out of all the crescent crevices also if you have a turbo there's turbo screens and those turbo screens can actually get clogged up and this really helps thin it out and this is actually uh, I would use it every time on a diesel engine basically you just put it right in the motor oil it's a real thin detergent super thin and then we're gonna start her up, idle her for 15 minutes. Actually on this, we're only gonna do 10 minutes because there's nothing to flush out of it. It's a brand new car. It's just gonna really help thin out the oil and then it'll all come out. We're gonna start her up. Ah, so we're just gonna let her idle for 10 minutes. All right, now we're gonna put in our PI Performance Improver. And what this is, this is a fuel injection direct injection and port fuel injection cleaner. Cleans the whole fuel system, gets the ethanol varnish out. Uh, it also cleans uh, carbon deposits out of the combustion chamber. And it's just a good habit to get into it. Basically, you put it in every 4,000 miles, and that's pretty much it. Uh, this Mustang, it doesn't have much corrosion in the fuel system, but by using this, we're not gonna allow any to start to stick so he'll never have to worry about uh, any deposits in the crankcase or in the uh, combustion chamber. So this is one of those, uh, the gasless, it's the, uh, what is this called? It's called the uh, capless gas caps. Sometimes it's a little tough to, to drain in, so you gotta take your time with it. In there. Plastic handling on doing this plastic cap. It's got these little plastic ears, so you want to be sensitive. It's the same as the uh, Raptor, and basically you just push and turn, and once you get the ears up, you kind of push them up, then the plug comes out really fast. So I do my little half turn, and now it's really going to start coming out quicker and now it's just a quarter turn away. And when this oil comes out, it comes out fast. We got a little bit safer, uh, little bit safer angle on her. Here we go, let's do it. And there she blows. And when it blows, it blows. I mean, it comes out like a waterfall. So, uh, especially with the flush, and it's 10 quarts coming out, so definitely, uh, definitely something to uh, think about. And there's the cute little twist in. And uh, frankly, uh, I kind of enjoy these. They're easy, you can finger, do it all by finger, and uh, super easy. Little rubber gasket, always make sure that's clean, make sure it's not ripped, and that's pretty much it. Up, 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 up. Uh-oh, we're still making messes. <laughs> Where the oil filter is, it's right here. You just move this little teeny flap out of the way, right there, and you'll see it. There's the little teeny weeny Motor Co. Motorcraft oil filter, and we're just gonna go ahead and unthread her. It's super easy to get to. We're cracked loose, pretty uh, easy location, and then it just drains right in. And that's it. So we'll let her drain down a little bit. 
unthreader and throw on our new filter. Go ahead and prep our oil filter. This is the EAO oil filter, good for one year, 25,000 miles. And there's the filtration percentage right there. You can see how much better it is than OEM. And all we do is pop her out of her package. And you'll see how nice the packaging is. All we do is just crack her loose here. Aha. Uh -huh. And now, the big difference between this filter and the OEM filter is the upgraded anti-drain back valve. And I'm gonna show you guys the difference here. Ford Motor Co. Doggy Scraps oil filter that came on her from the factory. And you can see the black anti-drain back valve. It's made out of like a plastic rubber and that's known to crack. So uh, the, the big difference with the AMS oil is it's upgraded silicone, it won't crack, it doesn't deform over the course of the year, and also it holds the oil in better, the anti-drain back valve. So when you do your next cold start, the oil flows right away, and that's the difference between the filters. All right, now we're gonna crack open some fresh signature series, throw a little oil in, and I always prime the filter this is actually mounted on a 45, so I'm gonna fill it about three quarters. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and wet her up a little bit. As you guys know, the wetter the better. Gotta make sure your rubbers are wet. Make sure your threads are wet so it threads on nice and smooth. And now I rotate it a little, and that gets the oil into the medium. And that's it, EAO 25 thou. Thread her on. All right, it's that time to feel her up. We're putting in our 5W20. Signature, 100% synthetic, good for one year, 25,000 miles or 700 idling hours. And to give you guys a picture of how good this is, this outperforms Mobile One Extended Performance by four times in the industry standard turbocharger deposit test. Also, it burns off at half the rate of Mobile One. So you won't be adding oil uh, over the course of an oil change. And to kind of give you guys uh, the picture, this takes 10 quarts of oil. This car in about 10,000 miles will burn off about 0.4 quart. So it'll burn off this much oil, not even half a quart of oil in 10,000 miles. So uh, that's just an idea. Also, it flows better so you get better gas mileage. And that's pretty much it. And now for a crazy tall pour, we're gonna go ahead and pour her from as high as I can go with the hood. First startup after Amsoil, let's do it. Let's hear what she sounds like. I'm gonna show you the tack. This is a special tack that only is all screen, no regular tack. So it's on it's on idle up right now, it's just warming up. And I want you guys to hear it once it gets off idle up. All right, she's just dropping off idle up. And there she is, she's just purring like a kitten. And I want you guys to hear this. So this is a beautiful coyote with AMS oil after the fluid, the flush, after it's just broken in. Do you enjoy this video? If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel. Also, if you're new to the channel, you can tap the little red icon in the corner and then you'll be able to come back and watch these videos later. All right, we're saying bye to the 5.0. We'll be back in 10,000 miles to see how she drives uh, and also see how much oil it burned and stuff like that. And that pretty much sums it up. I have a lot of other oil changes and engine flush videos and I'll put a little list of all the other engine flushes on my channel. Also, we have radiator coolant changes, transmission fluid, brake fluid, power steering fluid changes. So definitely check out those playlists. If you have any questions at all about the products, feel free to reach out to me. Also, if you're new to the channel, definitely uh, subscribe so you can come back and watch this important information on your vehicle. And that pretty much sums it up. All I can say is cheers to protection, protection, protection.